Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we are going to go a little bit off track from regular videos and we are going to do some coding in Python. So this code that we're going to write, what this code is going to do, we are going to find out using Python the RNA sequence or the RNA transcript sequence from a DNA sequence. So you can write your own codes. You do not need to go to any server to do this. You can write your own codes. You can get the results as you want. First of all, to do this, we need a DNA sequence. To do that, I'm going to go to NCBI. I'm going to go to NCBI and drop it down and search for gene. Let's go with hemoglobin. Press enter. Since you have the gene, you're going to get a lot of genes, a lot of hemoglobin genes. Um, this is Arabidopsis, Arabidopsis. This is Homo sapiens. We have the beta subunit, Homo sapiens. Let's go with this. I'm going to click it. And this page is going to open. You can see the lineage. You have the core data, eukaryota vertebrata all of these informations and a little bit of summary of the gene uh, to get the sequence you need to scroll down and over here you can see graphics FASTA and gene bank don't go for anything else just go for FASTA and this page is going to open so in FASTA as you might know that FASTA sequences they start off with a uh, angle bracket and then followed by the name of the gene or name of the protein whatever and then we have the sequence so i need these sequence so all the a t and g g's and c's i need this sequence so i'm going to copy it only the sequence without the first line i'm going to go back to python and by the way i am using an online server for running my python uh, you can also use it it is called the site is called repul.it um, you can go and create an account or you might have a text editor like visual studio code and you can run the python codes of there no problems so first what i need to do i need to put that sequence i need to put this sequence and into uh into a variable in python so that I can call that variable whenever I want. So I'm going to name a variable DNA sec. And to put the sequence, what I need to do, I need to create a string out of the sequence. To create a string, what you can do, you can give double quotes. And the interpreter is going to know that this is a string. So now since this sequence is a large piece of text what you can do you can uh, what you need to do actually you, you cannot give double quotes you need to give triple quotes so triple quotes three quotes and then you write okay first let's copy this out and we're going to give three quotes at the beginning and three quotes at the end so now you can see the color has changed for the sequence and this means that this sequence is now a string and this string is inside the variable DNA sec. One thing to remember while you're naming variables you cannot use any space. You cannot use any space. All you can do you can uh, use, uh, use the underscore and create a variable but you cannot use any space so this is wrong you can have you will have the curly lines curly weight lines which indicates that this is wrong so now we have the sequence next what we're going to do we are going to write some codes first we need to map out the a to use the t to a's like a regular transcript would have so what I mean is that the A's would be transcribed to use the T's would be transcribed to A's um, the 
G's would be transcribed to C's and the C's would be transcribed to G. So this, this thing we need to keep in mind and uh, I am commenting this out. If you give a hash symbol in front of anything in Python that sort of comments it out, it is not understood as a code. It's just for the programmer to know that what we are doing. So this won't, this won't be recognized by the compiler as a valid code and it will, it will, the compiler would skip the, the lines that are put in hash. So we need to do this. So to do this, what we're going to do, we are going to use something called a method. So we're going to call the uh, the the variable that we created that was DNA sec and to run a method on this variable or any variable what do you need to do you need to give a period a full stop and then you need to write the name of the method so for our sake we're going to write make trans so this is the method DNA sec dot make trans make trans helps us to map the a t g and c's so we're going to say again we're going to open double quotes we're going to say a t g c and we're going to give a comma and again open double quotes and we're going to map the exact position with the exact letters so we have uh, in in the first position we have a it is going to be converted into U. In the second position, we have T. It is going to be converted to A. Next, we have G. It is going to be converted to C. And the C's will be converted to G's. So now our mapping is done. So DNA sec dot make trans. This is the method. And this was our variable. So we have used a method called make trans. And what this make trans does this make trans maps the letters to the letters in the second string and you need to wrap this inside a bracket so that is the syntax for python next what you can do you can put all of these all of th uh, this whole line actually inside a variable again so let's call it transcript and why I'm doing this, I'm going to call this variable instead of calling the whole line. So transcript equals to dnsec.maketrans and the rest of the stuff. So next what we need to do, we need to use another method on the sec that is, sorry, on our dnsec that was our variable for the DNA sequence. We're going to say, we're going to use another method called trans. And trans, if you see over here, the text editor of Python inside REPL, it is hinting us that translate, this translate, this translate function is having something called table inside it. So this table is the map table that we just created over here. And since we put this whole thing inside a variable we can only call the variable and that would be it right so this is we are performing another method on our dna sequence this sequence that we have we are performing the method called translate and we are calling the trans uh, we are calling this whole line using this variable to map the table that we have created onto our sequence and to get the final result what we're going to do we're going to print this statement we're going to put it inside a double quote sorry a single bracket we're going to put this inside a single bracket and we're going to write print so this whole line this whole method including the table this is going to be printed and once you do this just hit run and this is your rna transcript this is your whole rna transcript so if you want to check the first few uh, few nucleotides let's see 
A C A T T T G. We have U G. That is A is converted to U. The C is converted to G. Then we have a single A. We have a single U. Then we have three T's. We have three A's, and so on. So this is how you can use just three lines of Python code or two lines of Python code and make uh, and convert your DNS sequence into an RNA sequence. So that was it for this video. If you liked it, then give it a thumbs up and um, share it with someone who would need to watch it. And until the next one.